Hi, this is John Morgan with the latest video tip for 2020 design. I'd like to introduce you to how people are using the Idea Center out in the field. Over here in your catalogs, there's a feature called drag and drop. You may have noticed over the last couple of years that there's a couple of catalogs in here called My, My Closet, My Kitchen, My Kitchen Islands. And they're actually empty. If I click on My Closet, there's nothing there. If I click on the arrow and scroll down and click on My Islands, you'll notice that My Islands is actually populated in my plan. Why? Because I've been saving islands. And the way you would save an island is, you would draw a box around the island, you would grab hold of it, and you would drag it, and you would simply drop it in there. You now have the ability to place that island in a future kitchen. You notice there's two little boxes next to my cursor? That would automatically allow me to drag and drop that island into place. So let me give you an example of how I see people doing this. So if you sit down with me and my family, and you start to lay out a kitchen, and you ask, what do you want? And I say, you know what, the family would really like to have an island. We've never had an island before. And I really don't know what kind of island I want. Well, instead of drawing a couple of islands, meeting with me again a week from now and getting my opinion, very quickly you could go over to the islands you've already saved. You could drag them over and simply move them into place and say, hey, John, what do you think of this island with the uh, radius eating area? I go, oh, that's okay. Let's, what else do you have? Well, I can hit undo. And I can say, well, how about just a basic island and drop it into place? And I can say, well, I really like that because I have sink and so forth that I can move, but I want to move the sink to this side. That's not a problem. Because what you're trying to do is get an idea of what I want, and then you can quickly make the changes to meet that need. But the big benefit is you're actually speeding up the sales cycle because you're allowing me to make decisions faster. You might want to create a folder for bathroom vanities. You might have certain alignments that you use over and over and over again. You might have unusual countertop shapes. Maybe you have signature pieces that you use in drawings. Or maybe, maybe you custom modify cabinets and you have a signature modification you typically make in a kitchen that tells everybody that that is one of your kitchens. Your next question should be, well, John, how did you create these folders? If I go to File, there's an option under File called Idea Center. If you click on Idea Center Management, it will actually come up and show you the folders that have been custom created. I can go in here and say, Add a Library, and I can give it a name. I will call this John's Library. You can come down and give it a description. I'm just going to type in 123 right now. You can actually add a logo to it if you wanted to. And when you click Save, it says my library has been saved. When I close, if I go to my drag and drop menu and click on the arrow, I can scroll down. There's actually a library called John's Library now. And I can start adding cabinets to it. Now one key to this, when you create libraries, you do have to turn 2020 off and turn it back on again before you can start building things inside of the library. What's cool about this is, is you might have multiple designers in the office. Well, you know what? You can not only create libraries per designer, but if I create a library of particular shapes or islands that everybody likes, and there's five designers in the showroom, I can go to File, I can go to Idea Center, I can go to Management, and see where it says Export. I can actually export that. And then I can take it to your computer and import it into your 2020, and you can have a folder with 20, 30, 40, 50 islands in it. So you can share this information amongst your design team. For other great ideas, tips, and inspiration, please join us at 2020spaces.com forward slash community.